The first step in the production is to rehydrate the almonds with steam for about 10 minutes so that they can be worked into a paste. Once the almonds' moisture content is increased by 2 to 4 percent, the almonds pass over a vibrating screen to drain any water resulting from steam condensation. Meanwhile, this cauldron heats up liquid beet sugar. France is one of the world's largest sugar beet producers, so high-quality beet sugar is readily available. Workers transfer the hydrated almonds to a grinder and add candied fruit. Calisans are topped with an ever so thin layer of royal icing. Unlike creamy icings, royal icing is as hard as a rock. To make it, a worker combines icing sugar and whipped egg whites passed through a strainer. A mixer beats the ingredients until the mixture is thick and smooth, which typically takes about 10 minutes. After three days of rest, the paste is ready to be worked. Shaping and decorating the calisans is a specialized task, entrusted to these experienced artisans called calisanaires. First, they place slices of paste in a press and load a mold underneath. They cover the mold with a wafer-thin sheet of unleavened bread. Then, the press piston descends forcing the paste with the bread layer underneath into the mold. They skim off the excess paste, then fold the stencil over the mold and apply the layer of royal icing. They lift off the stencil and push the buttons which activate the mold pistons. Each piston pierces the base of a callison and lifts it out of the mold. Finally, they remove the callisans with combs designed to fit around the pistons. A 10-minute trip through a tunnel oven set at low temperature bakes the royal icing to a hard and shiny state. These traditional callisans contain a candied fruit content of at least 30%, the melon being a variety cultivated in the region of Provence.